We're stuck in the forest at Orono Crown Lands, waiting for the rain to stop. Uh, there could be some really cool fog here once it does stop. There's still ice on the trails and snow in the bush, so... And the fish are running, but we haven't got to the creek yet. So, um, I'm still hopeful that we can get some fish pictures and some fog and steam. And mud. We made it back to Orono Crown Lands, and uh, I've got the dogs on the leash today. There's the parking lot's full. Um, they're saying that uh, one of the safest places to be for this coronavirus is, is uh, outside um, on a hiking trail. Hiking trails are safe um, as long as you're within six feet of another human. Um, don't touch surfaces, obviously, but um, apparently the virus can only last for a couple hours on surfaces, but uh, it's still, um, they're telling children now not to uh, touch playground equipment or, um, clean their hands after their touch playground equipment so uh, but yeah um, as I was saying yesterday we were here yesterday and um, got stuck in the rain and I gave up eventually I gave up I couldn't uh, <laughs> it just poured and uh, what a difference a, a day makes in the weather um, yesterday was supposed to be a high of 16 or 17 I don't think it made it that far but uh, when we were coming out of the bush, up the trail right here, um, we uh, had a couple of cracks of thunder. So the cold front rolled through and uh, it actually stopped raining after we got off the trail. But um, as you can see today, it's nothing but sunshine. And um, still a little bit disappointed that we can't go to provincial parks. Um, Algonquin Provincial Park is closed. Um, I was uh, considering going camping there in April. Uh, hopefully things will be cleared up by then, but um, who knows, you know. Um, <laughs> there was some controversy on, uh, on a, a Facebook group that I was in, and um, I suggested, uh, why don't the provincial parks just make the hiking trails free? Um, Algonquin Park hiking trails free, I mean, why do we have to have uh, staff? And uh, the comment I got is because the general public cannot be trusted to act properly and um, they cannot be trusted to go out and um, not injure themselves or, or get lost in the woods or uh, anything like that. And then, uh, then the, the province would be on the hook. So it is what it is. So this is the bridge where we were yesterday when um, when it started pouring rain and uh, I finally packed it in and uh, said no, I gotta put the camera away, I'm out of here. And uh, well, I said, I'll just have to come back. So it's taken me two days to, uh, to make this video, but that's okay because um, Two days I've gotten out with the dogs, and um, yeah, um, we have to take care of our mental health now. And um, for me, that means getting outside. Um, I can't stay in the house um, forever. <laughs> so getting outside and um, doing some photography and uh, away from CNN, Everything's good.
this is um, this is the Wilmot Creek, and uh, one of my favorite places to come when I was uh, a teenager. <laughs> There's some really nice fish right in here. A couple of couple of really big ones, a couple of steelhead. It's cleared up, so we should be able to see them. There's a couple down here, but um, oh, there's a nice one. We're gonna we're gonna walk up here a little ways and see if I can find a good place to um, set up the camera and uh, get some shots. Hopefully, get some shots of some fish spawning. And. Uh, So that's the bridge. Um, there's some good shots on the other side, but there's people over there right now. Um, and the sun's pretty harsh. I almost need to come here um, when um, you've got some nice filtered sunlight. I do have some winter pictures. I don't know if I can find them or not, but uh, I cut my teeth on filters here and uh, slow shutter photography. I'll have to see if I can dig one of those photos up and, and, and throw it up, they're, uh, they're different. When you first start photography, you just try stuff out to see what works and what doesn't work, right? And um, I, I read about slow shutter photography and, and um, putting on an ND filter to, to slow your shutter speed down and, and uh, so I bought some filters, some ND filters, and I'm pretty sure this is the first place I came with them. I think the people are leaving, so I'm going to go to the other side. And um, is Nixon in the frame? He's right at the bottom of the frame swimming. <laughs> and I'm surprised he hasn't seen any fish yet. <laughs> um, So the people have left that were over here, and um, I think I'm gonna uh, take a couple of shots here. Um, the sunlight's pretty harsh. Uh, great for filming, but um, we'll take a couple of shots here, and then I'll move on up the river. Um, like I said, it's a nice spot, but um, the sunlight is too harsh right now um, to get anything decent. There are some fish in here. There must be browns as well. There's little ones about yay big. They're either browns or brook trout. It would be nice to get a hold of one of them. Uh, on the other side, uh, there's a couple of steelhead that are eight, nine pound. It's a nice little spot. Okay, so I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos and um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Consider subscribing down here on my left and your right. There is a red subscribe button. Um, and if you click on the bell notification, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. And um, I'm gonna try to keep uh, coming out and, and doing these videos and hiking and right through this whole coronavirus thing because uh, for me it's the only way to stay healthy. As I was saying, I'm gonna continue hiking right through this coronavirus thing. Um, this is probably one of the safest places to be. Um, the virus is not airborne, so that means that as long as we're within six feet of other people, we won't contract the virus, so. Um, I'm gonna continue making videos as much as I possibly can, and uh, hopefully, uh, 
hopefully this thing doesn't last too long, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to keep coming out here and uh, keep filming and uh, keep putting the videos up for people to see. It's so beautiful today. It's just a gorgeous day. And um, this is one of the only places that makes me happy uh, outside. So um, I'm gonna keep doing this as much as I possibly can. Again, this is Orno Crown Lands. And uh, the Wilmot Creek is running right through it. Nixon. I'm pretty much where I was the other day and um, before I got turned around in the rain and uh, as you can see the, the the sun is there's not a cloud in the sky today um, it's a good day for filming not the greatest day for photography because the, the sunlight is so harsh but um, great day for hiking So, I got this new lens, it's a <laughs> great lens, my wife bought it for me, it's um, a Nikon IM mug, <laughs> uh, I believe she got it off of Amazon, I'm going to put a link in the bottom, it's, it's a coffee mug, it's, it's a Nikon coffee mug. It's pretty cool. So this is a, it's a Nikon 
camera lens, coffee mug. Ew. <laughs> pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I am mug. I will um, I will put a link to the Amazon website if you're interested in one of those. Um, comes with a little pouch. It uh, it looks just like a Nikon lens. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And um, I've used it twice. <laughs> so I didn't get any fish. Um, no fish pictures. Um, there's fish in there. There's lots of fish in there, but um, I couldn't get any really decent pictures of them spawning. Um, I'll throw up a composition that I took at uh, Port Hope Fish Ladder. Um, I'm pretty pretty proud of it. It's it is a composition, so uh, it's actually um, about six shots blended into one. I'm gonna throw that up because I'm pretty proud of it. It is a composition, so. Um, just be aware of that. There isn't 10 fish jumping up the fish ladder at the same time. It looks like there is, but there isn't. <laughs> it was photoshopped. So, um, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, I've heard uh, some people say that it is okay to um, photoshop your pictures as long as you admit that it is a composition and um, I don't know if it was Tony Northrup or who it was, but somebody said, um, why not take a good picture and make it even better in Lightroom or Photoshop? I mean, it, it still takes skill to um, see the picture in the camera before you snap the shutter. And um, it takes skill to get the right light and the right composition. So um, why not modify it uh, to make it even better? And I have the originals to this photo. Uh, some of them are, are really good, but uh, I just like the picture with all the fish blended and the composition. I like the composition better than just one or two fish by themselves. So let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comments section of um, my composition.